administration's response to the coronavirus. A government scientist who was removed from his job is speaking out and claims he was pushed out for raising alarms about just how poor the U.S. response was to COVID-19. This comes as President Trump refuses to wear a mask and as another White House staffer tests positive for the coronavirus. Nicole Killian is at the White House this morning. Nicole, what's the latest? Well, there's a lot happening here at the White House. And Michelle, the commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, is now self-quarantining after coming into contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. The White House says it's testing staffers daily who are in close proximity to the president and vice president, while the president says he thinks the virus will go away even without a vaccine. CBS News has learned the personal assistant of Ivanka Trump is among the latest to test positive for coronavirus. This after the vice president's press secretary, Katie Miller, was diagnosed. She thanked well-wishers Friday night, tweeting, I'm doing well and look forward to getting back to work for the American people. So she's a wonderful young woman. And today she tested positive. Uh, she hasn't come into contact with me. Miller is the wife of senior presidential advisor Stephen Miller. Earlier this week, a member of the president's personal military valet also tested positive. The White House insists it's taking precautions, but the vice president did not wear a mask during a trip to Iowa. The president didn't wear one either at a Washington ceremony for World War II veterans. The wind was blowing so hard in such a direction that if, if the plague ever reached them, I'd be very surprised. Third, we need to conduct clinical trials. To after raising red flags about the administration's pandemic response, whistleblower Dr. Rick Bright spoke for the first time to 60 Minutes. The former vaccine official claims he was removed from his job for putting science over politics. Friday, a federal watchdog recommended he be reinstated. I'm the director of BARDA. To take me out of our organization focused on drugs and vaccines and diagnostics in the middle of a pandemic the worst public health crisis that our country has faced in a century and decapitate the BARDA organization to move me over to a very small focused project of any scale, of any level of importance, is not responsible, didn't make sense. This week, the government started shipping remdesivir, but concerns have emerged that the drug cleared for emergency use in COVID patients has been slow to reach some hospitals. So right now, I think there's a lot of confusion of, of how to uh, distribute it. FEMA says the drug has been sent out to seven states, but the next round will be handled by the Department of Health and Human Services. The White House says that task force member Dr. Deborah Burks will also help to coordinate distribution. Back to you, Dana. All right, Nicole Killian, thank you. In other news, magician Roy Horn, one half.